so latest update video for the Rostock Max V2. Uh, now we have ABS Red in there, running at uh, 235 degrees Celsius. The bed's at 100 degrees Celsius. It now has the upgraded uh, E3, E3, shoot, E3D Mark uh, V6, I think. Oh, shoot, brain dump right there. Uh, anyway, uh, the uh, print ability is fantastic with this thing. I got it up to 150% speed, and it doesn't show any signs of problems. I did find out with the uh, heated bed, I was having it at kind of the stock numbers, which was 80 degrees, and I was getting lots of lifts uh, with the ABS, so uh, warping. So increased it to 100 and uh, while it does take forever to get up to that temperature, the um, lifts are down to nothing. As long as it's at 100 degrees when you start. Um, I tried it uh, because I forgot to modify the uh, matter control uh, to be at 100. It was still at 80 and uh, ended up um, starting it at 80 and then after the raft was done I moved it up to 100 and it didn't have nearly a good enough uh, bed adhesion and it started lifting on the same uh, model that I'm printing right now. These are uh, holders that I got from Thingiverse uh, that will hold uh, five LEDs. I ended up um, designing a LED um, insert to go into these holders so these will mount onto the one inch uh, aluminum extrusion towers and the insert will actually hold the LEDs in the uh, wiring uh, and then slide right into these uh, real snugly, uh, should anyway. So that's what's being printed right now. But this uh, E3D, E3D V6 nozzle, uh, or hot end, is awesome. And then I do have the uh, uh, hardened steel uh, 0.4 millimeter nozzle on there. Uh, and no problems with that either. Uh, this is uh, quite nice printing. I printed the Bontech uh, extruder holder or bracket uh, last night and the quality of the print is as good as the stock um, hot end is on fine quality, and this is standard quality, if I can get it to focus. Uh, it doesn't look like I've got enough light, but anyway, um, almost as good as on fine quality with the stock hot end. Uh, that's how good this uh, E3D nozzle is. Um, so very, very impressed with this. Super strong. This is ABS. Um, Where's the piece? So this will hold the Bontech extruder and I'm gonna mount it on the top of the printer so it gets plenty of air because I'm gonna be running these things at you know 150 and maybe even 200% speed and the extruder's gotta be cool. So I printed that little filament guide right there, put it in. So this guy will be mounted like... Now this is not going to be possible with one hand, I can see it now. Stay, stay... Ah. There's a little notch that goes into the extruder. There we go. So anyway, I need to get some uh, hardware to some push fit connectors to go into here. I'll use my soldering iron and push them in place so that'll hold the screws. So anyway, that's what it's going to look like on top of the printer. And uh, so I guess it'll be more or less like this. Filament comes in this side and extrudes out this side and uh, should be plenty cool enough to run at the higher speeds. And of course, this Bontech extruder has uh, two 
uh, not hot bolts, but something similar to that inside that forces the filament through, so a much more efficient design um, and able to handle things like the, the Ninja Flex and, and all the other filaments I plan on running through this eventually. So at any rate, upgrades are progressing nicely. So I'll have some LEDs in here in the near future so I can actually see what I'm printing. And, um, but yeah, the C3D uh, V6 hot end is fantastic. So there's a little update for you.